Hi Mustangs, Miss Jones here, and I'm going to continue reading our new book, Liberty Porter, First Daughter, by Julia DeVillers. And we didn't quite finish the first chapter, so I'm going to continue reading. Now if you remember, Liberty's dad is about to get sworn in as the President of the United States. And Liberty was a little bit nervous that she wouldn't know how to be the first daughter. Right? But her mom made her feel better and so did her dad. They said, you know what? We're both learning. We're all learning how to do this. Right? Liberty's mom took Liberty's hand. Her dad took her other hand. And they walked out onto an area on the steps. Her dad stood in front of an important judge. Liberty could see the vice president and her husband. Their kids were there too. But they were grown-ups and not kids anymore. Liberty was the only real kid up there and definitely the shortest person. The steps up to the Capitol building were huge. The white dome on top of the Capitol building was huge, and the crowd was huge. Liberty looked out to see about a gajillion people waving their I'm a Porter supporter posters. Hey, and there she was, smiling back. Okay, what also was huge was a huge face smiling back from giant TV screens. Whoa, whoa and whoa. People all over the world and even back at her school were watching her face on TV right this very second. People like Max Melian, Liberty remembered that Max had said on her last day of school. Her teacher had let each student say a special goodbye to Liberty. Most people had said they'd miss her. Max had given her advice. You'll probably be on TV, he said. Yep, Liberty had agreed that was true, and that was something Liberty was excited about. Very. You're smiling now, Mar Max warned, but you won't be smiling if... He shook his head. If what? Liberty had asked him. If you sneeze, Max said, my cousin sneezed on live television once and green sneeze came flying out all over. Liberty wished she hadn't thought about this now. Now, while she actually was on TV in real life, suddenly Liberty's nose started to itch on the giant screen TVs. Liberty's nose wiggled. Uh-oh. Do not sneeze, she thought to herself. Do not sneeze. Her dad raised his right hand. Liberty raised her right hand to itch her nose. A giant Liberty itched her nose on the TV screen. Then the TV screen showed the crowd, and it showed a close-up of a girl sitting on her father's shoulders. The girl was waving the sign. The sign said, I heart Liberty Porter. Cool, that sign was for her. Liberty looked around in the crowd for the girl, and she spotted her. Liberty waved it back at the girl, and the girl made a surprised face and nearly fell backward off her father's shoulders. Whoops. But the girl's father held her, her on and the girl waved her sign even harder. Liberty felt her sneeze disappear because a feeling had overtaken her. She felt historical, patriotic. No, more than patriotic, patriotical. Liberty suddenly felt a huge grin across her face. Her heart felt like it was about to explode in a good way. That was her own dad and mom up there becoming the president and the first lady of America. And suddenly, like a mute button was pressed, everything went silent. A hush fell over the crowd. Liberty watched as her father smiled at her mother. He smiled at Liberty, and then he raised his right hand. I, William David Porter, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States and will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Yes, Liberty's father would be here for the country, and so would Liberty. Maybe some people thought a nine-year-old couldn't help too much, but Liberty knew better. And there's a picture of her mom and her dad and Liberty and the judge and her father is being sworn in as the president of the United States. Her father had a lot of people who worked for him, but he didn't have anyone who truly understood the kids of America, the future of America, until now. Liberty could be her father's assistant, even if he didn't know it, his secret assistant. Yep, she liked the sound of that, secret assistant to the president. Liberty felt so patriot patriarchal, she was ready to burst, and then she did burst. USA! she shouted. Liberty jumped up. She pumped her fist in the air. USA! She turned around and realized the judge was looking at her. The vice president and her family were looking at her. Um, Liberty said, the crowd was looking at her. No, staring at her. Was this going to be worse than Green Sneeze? And then she saw the girl on her dad's shoulders wave from the crowd. USA! The girl yelled, USA! And then everyone was chanting, USA! USA! And then it was so loud her ears almost exploded. 
People were waving and cheering and chanting. Liberty saw her dad and mom smile. Her father came off his stand. He leaned down to take her hand, and he whispered in her ear, That's my Liberty. Liberty for Porter, first daughter. And that is the end of chapter one. Next time we will get into chapter two to see what it's really like if you were a kid and your parents were living in the White House, what would it really be like to live in the White House if your father or your mother were president of the United States? And let's see if Liberty Porter really is the secret assistant to the president. All right, Mustangs, until next time, take care.